This 6x3 post is going to be fixed to the side of a garage. As you can see, I have already pre-drilled three holes in the post. To fix it, we're going to use some resin and some stainless steel studs which I have already cut to length. We're actually using M12 stainless steel studding on this job, so I'm going to put an M12 masonry bit in the drill first. So to start off with, I'm going to put a piece of wood in the correct position. And it is a bit tricky here because of the fence. And then I'm going to put a single hole in the top before we level this up. So I'm just going to put an hole in there. And now just remove that. Then we can just put the hole straight through this brickwork. So I can now push one of the studs through the material we're fixing and put that in the hole that we just made. And then I can then check that to be in level. And then I can spot through the other two holes. We can then remove that and then we can drill the two holes. I'm now just going to enlarge the holes using this bit. I'm now going to blow any dust out of the holes using this air duster. You can get a special pump for doing this, I don't actually have one. I'm going to use this instead. To use the resin, we just need to remove the lid. and then we need to screw the nozzle on there. You will notice that the nozzle has a spiral on the inside, that is to mix the two components together. We can now insert that into a regular silicone gun and we can squeeze the handles until the components mix in the nozzle. You'll notice that they are now mixing but they are not mixed thoroughly. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put a bit of the resin onto this cardboard and you can see now that we have got a uniform colour there so that is now ready to be injected into the hole. I'm now going to place the nozzle into the hole as far as it will go. I'm now going to squeeze the handles together ensuring that I'm injecting the resin into the hole as I pull backwards on the gun. That will ensure that the hole is filled with resin. and we can insert the stud with a twisting motion. So we now just need to leave those for about half an hour before we put the wood on and tighten up the nuts. It's now been left over an hour and I've now pushed the piece of wood back onto the studs. I'm now going to put a decent sized washer on there and then I'm going to put a nut on and we're going to tighten those up using the spanner. See that that post is now extremely solid. 